panels for their morning and evening charge. Rod, do you have to carry the cells with you? Yes, we do. Uh, the rules state that you must carry those panels with you. We have them in the rear of the car. There's a section where they slot in and they're carried with us through the day. Uh, the weight's not all that significant. It's only a few kilos, so well worth the extra effort. Well, the team wants you. Good luck. Thank you very much. At the media stop in Alice Springs, Kyocera attracts people's attention. It is in third place, but as Kyocera leaves, Aurora rolls in. As Aurora departs Alice Springs, Wasida, Toyota, Pomona, George Washington and Kell State LA run down through the hills into Alice Springs. Moving up through the field is the Northern Territory entrant Desert Rose, who is becoming a real challenger. Bipal, having missed the turn off to Adelaide, get back on course. Dark clouds are building over Central Australia. Honda is an incredible 116 kilometres south of Cooper Pedy. Beale is 129 kilometres behind them. And 261 kilometres further back are Kyocera and Aurora. NTU prepare for the day's run. Dean, it's the start of day four. You're 123 kilometres south of Alice Springs. How's the Desert Rose running? Extraordinarily well. We've had uh, four tyre failures across the, uh, the days and one electronic failure, which was actually in commercial equipment, <laughs> and a subsequent, when we, when we fixed it, we went, didn't quite get it right. We had to stop for another 20 minutes. We've lost 40 minutes over that, but otherwise running extraordinarily well. You're in amongst a group of American universities. Is the competition tough? It's fascinating. These are the people who stayed with us at Northern Territory University, so they're friends of ours and colleagues of ours and great competitors. We're having a lot of fun with them. Last night there was quite a bit of cloud cover. Did that affect your charge? In fact, in fact everything fell right for us yesterday. We, uh, we got very strong charge yesterday morning. We set a strategy for yesterday and ended up not using anything like the amount of energy that we had set aside. Uh, and uh, so we could have... Uh, so we actually calculated that it was going to be claggy last night and if it had not been, we, our batteries would be overcharged now. We're right on top right now. We're, we're in great position. Denny, you're charging well this morning. Yeah, we're, we're doing a This array of Martin Greens is amazing. We're getting 1250 watts hot running along in the, in the day, 1300 when it cools. And right now we're getting 1100 watts and we're pouring into the battery. Sounds like you're looking for a good day. Yeah, we're looking for a good day, but the battery may go bad on us. Our met predictions are, are the flags up later on today, so we have to be a little, little bit conservative this morning. Well, all the best. Thanks, Terry. Behind NTU and Michigan are BPAL and Nissan and Stanford University. Solar Kiwi and Mabuki are trying to keep ahead of heavy rain clouds. Later in the day, Solar Kiwi is lifted three metres into the air by a windstorm and hurled 25 metres along the roadway, fortunately landing on its wheels. It's the vagaries of the weather that add a large measure of unpredictability to this race. The Monash Melbourne car, along with other competitors, is travelling under heavy rain cloud. Lisa, it's very heavy cloud tonight. I presume you're not going to get much of a charge out of it. Um, no, I don't think so. But uh, we'll see what happens, we don't know exactly. We've got a, a good run in downhill tomorrow in Dallas Springs, so that might help us there. And who knows what the weather is tomorrow. What was your position on the starting grid? 
We were 29th on the grid and at the start of the race I think we passed around about 10 cars. So we've been consistent around about the 20th mark, uh, passing a few cars and then other cars would pass us. And Has solution been reliable? Yes, it's very reliable. We've had no breakdowns. We've had four minute driver changes and the majority of the driver changes have been at media stops. So that's a six hour stint for one driver. Um, and five hours and four hours, but the car's been very reliable. Which well, is let's, good. let's hope for a sunny morning. Yeah, so do I. As Honda approaches Adelaide, Tokai University and Monash Melbourne Car Solution accelerate down the hills into the Alice Springs media stop. Under these heavily clouded conditions, how do you expect to go south of Alice Springs? Well, the, um, looking at the maps, we've uh, had the faxes through. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be like this for a long way down the road. Under these conditions, uh, very, very tough. As we'll see how we go. If we've, we've got a, a bit of a tailwind, uh, if the tailwind stops, uh, with this, this extra weight in the car, we, uh, we might just have to pull up on the side of the road and just wait for something to, have something to happen. Still 1,600 kilometres from the finishing line, the race is being fought out. The cars are incredibly close and each team is doing its best to hold their vehicle's position. Lils, it's heavily overcast. How's your battery charging? Nearly nothing. We've been standing 10 kilometers north of Alice Springs for an hour, uh, just charging, but uh, we don't get anything at all. We nearly didn't manage to get here to Alice Springs. Are you expecting or hoping, I suppose, to pick anything up as you move along? Uh, we hope so, yeah. But the weather, weather forecast isn't very good, so I don't know. Solven Denmark and the Mino family leave Alice Springs. But some stay behind. Official observer at the Alice Springs pit stop. And what time did Pandasan come in? Pandasan arrived at um, Alice Springs 11.58 um, this morning. They haven't left. What's the problem? Well, actually, their team manager's going shopping. There's no mechanical, no technology problems at all. No. They're obviously a highly competitive group. Yeah, they, <laughs> they are, and they're hungry too. <laughs> You're an observer. How often do you change vehicles? Um, the observers change at pit stops, media stops they're called, and Tennant Creek, I've changed from another team. Um, we get to Cagney Homestead, I'll be changed, swapped again now. Do you have a break between cars? If we're lucky, yes. We get at least 10 minutes to shower. Mm. You have slept on the road? Yes. <laughs> I had one night on a bed in the camper van near the um, solar car at Warhope. But the other nights it's been on rocks in my sleeping bag under yeah. the stars. Enjoying <laughs> that? Beautiful, yes. Later in the day, Annesley College and Alaris drive down into Alice Springs. <laughs> 